Hello everybody and welcome to Web Factory 2010. Today we're gonna talk about the trending control interpolation. When we talk about interpolation, we think at the estimation of a function's value between two known values. In the trending control, interpolation defines the way of representing the values of a signal in a chart using lines. The trending control offers us three interpolation methods. The first method is the straight line, the cubic spline and the differential method. I have set up a trending application with the same signal represented by the three different interpolation methods in three different colors as you can see right over here. This way the visual differences are obvious. So let's take a look and see how these three interpolation methods really look like. I'm gonna pause our control right over here so we can take a closer look. You can see the red straight line which connects directly the two known points just like this. The green cubic spline which connects the known values by approximating a third degree curve function similar to a Bezier curve. And the blue differential line which connects two points by using square angles to indicate the difference in the values right at the moment the values have changed. Our known points are actually the signal values at the polling point, so whenever the device is interrogated by the system, our trending control will get the new values and place them in the graphic chart. Then, using the selected interpolation methods, like we have selected them here for our signals, the control will draw a line connecting two or more known values, thus creating the trend line. Now let's start from the beginning and see how can we set up all these trend lines. For starters, we're gonna go into the settings and delete our signals. So we can add them again and set them up. I'm gonna click the add button and select the frequency 1 signal. Now we have our three signals which are actually the same signal three times placed in our trending control. We're gonna select for each one an interpolation method. So the first one is going to be a straight line, the second one I'm going to make it a cubic spline and the last one a differential spline. And I'm going to adjust the colors so that we can see some difference here. And our interpolation lines will get drawn on the surface of the trending control. Well, this is all about interpolation methods in the trending control. I'm gonna meet you next time when we're gonna see more cool features of WebFactory 2010 trending.